Hi hi and welcome. Today we will decide if you should panic. Let's be honest, the reason you've heard of Iceland besides maybe Skir and Björk are these guys. And the fact that these volcanoes occasionally do blow up, like Eyjafjallajökull in 2010 or Fagradalsfjall in 2021. Imagine that there are approximately 30 active volcanoes in Iceland. And each eruption can be preceded and followed by thousands and thousands of earthquakes. But wait, we're not panicking yet. Instead, let's see what's this all about. Iceland is placed on top of two tectonic plates, drifting in opposite directions at a rate of about 2.5 centimeters each year, which means that literally Iceland is being torn apart. That being torn apart thing translates to an average of 50 earthquakes a day, or about 20,000 a year. Nope, we're still not panicking. Because most of them are so small that they are barely felt, and eruptions are usually not as sudden, so people from endangered areas can be evacuated on time. So, most likely you won't drown in lava or fall through a crack in the earth. That being said, when you see your chandelier acting like a swing, or someone says it's okay but at the same time asks you to be ready to evacuate, you could easily freak out. If you do, you can scream Jarskjálfti! Eldgos! Hraunið! Wow, I have to take my for Instagram. Hlaupið! You could also complain by saying Hverju reytu skóðin er hrannið brann sem nú stöndum við á? Or totally lose it! Shit! Við munum öll deyja! The good news, after all of this ends, there will be Goes look at how death. Thank you for surviving through the end.